Avocado Ninja. Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about creating email test lists. So this is a relatively um, common function um, to use in Pardot, but I have realized in my experience that it's not always easy for people to understand how to set one up because it works a little bit differently to setting up a regular list. So we'll talk through why email test lists are important a little bit later in the video, but first let's just go into our prospects tab here and jump into segmentation, segmentation list. So we know we can create a static list, a dynamic list, and also our third option is a test list. Now to do that, you just create it just like you would any other list. And I'm gonna call this one, Pardon Ninja email test list. Okay, so what you wanna be doing here is ticking this email test list box. You will not need to tick any other box here and just create list. Basically what it's done um, at this point in time has just created a very, an empty list essentially. Um, and what we need to do now is actually add some users to this list because the idea behind an email test list is for you to be able to view what an email looks like in a live send. And essentially how an email looks like if you're a prospect, right? So what we wanna do now is jump into Pardot settings. And then we're gonna jump into our user management, users over here on the left, and you'll have all your users here. And you can actually select which users you would like to join in this test list. So I am going to just create a test list with these two users here. And I am going to scroll down to the bottom and with these two selected, I'm going to create prospect and add to test list. And then it's gonna ask you which test list you would like to add to. Um, and we will look for Pardot Ninja email test list and then go. So this is gonna ask us, are you sure you wanna create prospects from these two records? Yes, we do. So essentially what the system's doing here is it's turning your users into prospects so that they can be added to the list essentially. Um, and once that's done, you're really good to go. So I'll show you how you can actually use this when you're creating um, emails email templates and so forth. So I'm going to jump into, sorry, part of email here. I'm going to jump into my templates and let's have a look at our out of office Easter message here. And let's edit the email template. So when you're building a template, um, you know, you can insert your merge tags and so forth, which is what we've done here. And then you do have the ability to preview your template like so. So you can actually, from within the email template, preview it as a prospect, and you can pick which prospect you, you, know, you would like to actually preview it as. So let's pick this here, and you can see, all right, the merge tag is populated, cool. That looks good, that looks good to me. So what's the purpose of a test list? The real purpose and advantage of using a test list is that when you do actually go to send your email, sometimes there are certain glitches, certain things that may look good in the template that once they actually reach you know, a prospect's inbox might not look um, so good. For example, sometimes buttons don't display correctly or link colors don't display correctly. And you know, it might vary between someone having an Outlook or a Gmail inbox. Um, but generally speaking, any of these types of, I guess, errors or inconsistencies, you know, you can't really see in that preview function. So when you actually um, jump into your template, before you send it, you can actually send to test list, which is in the testing tab here. And this is where you would select what test list you want to send it to, right? So for example, in this 
in this situation, we could send it to this test list, or we could send it to another one that we've already created earlier. I might put this one here and click send. What happens is once that actually reaches the inbox, you'll actually see it like a real email. So who it's coming from, you know, the merge tags will populate and you'll actually see, okay, yes, the buttons are looking good and you can actually, actually test it and preview it that way. So that's a real advantage in using a test list over just the preview function. You don't get the full visibility. Um, and there have been things that I've noticed in email test sends um, to a test list that were not picked up in the preview. So we do recommend using that email test list uh, function. So hopefully um, that gives you all the information that you need to know when it comes to test lists. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos.